whispers red A S M Hello, this is Emma. I hope you're doing well. If your day has been as busy as mine, then you're ready to relax and take some time out to be calm. So I thought we could do that together. Just me and you. We're going to be cleaning some makeup brushes. These here. They're in this beautiful wooden pot. very old and was handed down to me by my nana so not my nana I'm related to when I grew up we had a next door neighbour and She became our Nana. I loved her a lot, still do. And I used to sit with her and chat about all kinds of things. She was a lovely lady. She had a lot of knickknacks in her home. And this, of course, was one of them. I still have a few things that were hers and I look after them and this little pot is looking after these brushes They've needed a wash for some time now, so I'm very glad to be making this video. Shall we get started? Okay. Two ceramic dishes and in one of them I'm going to add this. This is a clarifying shampoo. You can use any shampoo, but I happen to have this one anyway, and I thought it would do a really good job. It has lemon. Pop some in here. Just a little. It smells really nice. I also have Some rather English <sighs> kitchen roll. And I'm going to lay some out in front of me.
I think a couple should do. So I say it's a very English kitchen roll. It has pictures of herbs on the bottom. Basil and a pot with lots of herbs and it says fresh herbs, sage and parsley and the first step I'm going to take one of the brushes dip it in there and work in the shampoo by using the palm of my hand like so This is the brush I use to blend in contour and blusher and stuff like that. It's really soft. And a nice shape. work in gently work it into the bristles The makeup is dissolving and it's all coming off onto my hands. That's alright. I like to do it in my hands anyway. It feels nice. working through the bristles to 
dissolving the makeup. And I'll pop it down there. Okay. And then continue. my hands, the more the smell worked its way into the air. It's a lovely fresh lemon scent. See, it's starting to lather already. And that's working its way through the bristles. swirly pattern. Looks a little bit like a rose. Hmm. Down there. This brush is one of my favourites. It's very small. But it does an amazing job. Again, it has very dark eyeshadow. And I tend to use it for the corners. The outer corners of my eyes. To make a smoky eye. As these brushes sit on this tissue, the lemon is working its way through, dissolving away all the makeup. Some people like to use a little bit of oil. That's quite nice too. For me, I just prefer to use the shampoo. 
sometimes the brushes can be quite greasy afterwards. I'm going to use a little bit of this to wipe my hand. Moving on to a concealer brush, dab, dab, dab it in, and again, round and round and round, like so. be so nice to use these brushes again when they're lovely and clean and fresh. I really don't wash them often enough, so I will make an effort. These brushes are synthetic, which makes me enjoy using them that little bit more. This is a lovely brush too, it's really good for contour, it's a great shape and size. see all of the brown, the bronzer is coming off, and there's plenty in there obviously, so I'll give it an extra special swirl to work all of that shampoo into the centre of the brush. bit more.
wipe it away again look hmm. I'll give my hand a really good wash after This is an angled eyeshadow brush. I use this a lot, as you can see. A dark eyeshadow. Or oh, dark browns. Are my favourite. little wipe again. Three more brushes to go. I'll do the little ones first. Dab, dab, dab. This one has a whole different colour. I've mostly used it for a rusty ginger colour for underneath my eyes. It's really an eyebrow brush, but I've used it for various things, for detail. And it works well. Working in the shampoo. One last wipe. Before we do this one, the foundation brush. I shall be scrub, scrub, scrubbing my hand after this.
As you know, this is a stipple brush. And I enjoy using it for foundation. But it really does need a good clean now. So, let's stipple it into the bowl. Twisting and turning and dab, 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 dabbing. Seeing as it's the last one, I may as well wipe up all the rest of the shampoo and use the bowl to work it into the brush. Okay, so now all the brushes have the shampoo worked all the way through the bristles and now it's time to rinse them. So, for this video I did consider taking you over to the sink but it's so lovely and cosy in here that I didn't want to take you away from that so I decided to rinse them here just an initial rinse shall we say, and then later on, before I put them down to dry in a warm place overnight, I'll give them one last big rinse in the sink, okay? So let's dab them again and in some water. Here's the other bowl and I'll pour some water into it I will also have some fresh kitchen roll just here so that when I have dipped them in here and then put them here. Put the excess water to soak into the kitchen roll. So let's tear some off. This kitchen roll is recycled. I tend to buy it when it's in the sale and buy lots of them and store them. I'm aware I've used quite a bit for this. 
so I'm glad it's recycled. There, that should be enough. Here's some water. So this was very, very warm before I started. So it's still quite warm now. Carefully place that back in its corner. And I've noticed I have a bit of makeup just in there. So let's wipe that away. Okay, now this water is going to get pretty dirty, I'm sure, but that's alright, it'll turn a nice colour, in fact, a very autumnal. on the tissue and again dip 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 again into the water the makeup run out pretty colours it really does remind me of the autumn trees it's so beautiful Browns, golds, yellow, bronze, and just that little bit of green showing through.
and see that this is the concealer brush because the water is becoming lighter with the shade of the concealer and you can see the bottom of the brush is becoming whiter Do some more little ones, then I'll change the water to begin. Dip in the bigger brushes. This is a really useful blending brush. I love it. So again, it's at darker colours. They're all washing away. Corner brush. There. And eyebrow brush. Okay, let me pour this water away to a big bowl I have here. Just out of the way there. And pour some more water in. Okay, and a big stipple foundation brush. That's coming up lovely, isn't it? This brush is for blusher. It's angled just perfectly. This one is the blending brush.
that's the first dip, the first rinse done. And as I said, before I pop them away in a nice warm place to dry overnight, I shall give them one last thorough rinse in the sink. I hope you're fast asleep, dreaming away. Or if not, you feel lovely and calm and quiet and still. My love to you. Sleep well. Sweet dreams.